Hey guys, so today I have a Petit Bora haul for you. A lot of you have probably seen my videos on them before regarding their subscription boxes, but I actually placed, I think, my second order on their um, storefront. So um, they have a lot of awesome brands, vegan and cruelty free, lots of ones that you may never have heard of. So it's a really great place to look, especially if you are just getting started on going cruelty free. So first of all, I'm going to mention the packaging because I know some people are curious about that. They packed it very well. This is a very small box for how much I ordered. You get their little card with a little explanation on the back um, about the company and then your packing slip is very small, which I like so there's not a ton of extra paper in there. Their packaging is also 100% post-consumer waste so it's all recycled. So just to show you, once you've removed most of that paper, this is what it looks like inside and they do pack things very well and don't waste cardboard by sending in a huge box like some companies do. The first thing I'm pulling out is the 100% pure facial brush. I had seen this on there for a while and was kind of curious about it. I thought it would be a cool option for more sensitive skin because I had been reading that the bristles were quite soft. As well as obviously you don't need to charge it because it's not electric. And I just thought it was a neat little beauty tool. So it is very soft. Um, I will give this a go later on in the shower and let you guys know how it goes but I just thought that that was really neat. And obviously it's wood, and then I'm guessing these are nylon, but a lot less bulky than some of the face brushes. And I think it would be a good option for sensitive skin. And everything I bought, I will link below so that you can go check it out if you're interested. The next thing which I, the packaging, it really got me, is the French Girl Lumiere bronzing oil. So they did used to be called French Girl Organics, I think, and then they kind of had a rebrand. So now it's just French Girl and I just love the packaging. I think a lot of the time when you're looking for cruelty-free or more kind of natural or vegan beauty products, sometimes you can miss out on the kind of fancy packaging. And I know that shouldn't be a deciding factor, but when it looks chic, mm. As you can see, it is this nice deep bronze shade and the ingredients are a bunch of different oils. So argan, jojoba, sunflower, evening primrose, rosehip, coconut oil, and a bunch of other good stuff. So I'm excited to give that a go this summer to get nice and sheeny. And yeah, I'm gonna put that somewhere deliberately so that people can see it because it's beautiful. So the next product a lot of you have been telling me about, I finally picked it up is the Suntegrity 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen. I do think this was a little bit on the pricier side, but I guess I hadn't realized how huge the bottle was. Um, so the color I got was Golden Light. It is a tinted SPF 30 for all skin types, vegan, non-greasy, and non-toxic. Um, it says it's to treat, hydrate, protect, prime, and cover. I remember reading this now. The owner, um, I think, created the brand because she lost her mother to skin cancer, so it was really important to her to create awesome SPF products. If I can find any more on that, I'll link it below if you want to read into it. So like I said, it is a big package. You get 50 grams, so 1.7 ounces, um, and then it has the pump squeezy thing. So let's see if I pick the right color. Okay, looking promising. Ooh, it's lovely and thick. Feels like a nice thick moisturizer. Obviously not a ton of coverage because it is kind of a tinted product, but wow, that feels really nice on the skin. Doesn't smell like SPF, which is pretty strange for an SPF based product. Yeah, definitely excited to give this one a go this summer. I know a lot of you have sworn by their products, um, so I'm glad I picked that up. And I do think that that was the right color. Going off on a slight tangent, a lot of you have asked me how do I pick out um, foundation shades when I'm ordering online and what I will do is if the brand has a good kind of chart that explains it for example like gold to you know golden tones neutral pink tones sometimes you can figure out by that like what your shade range might be otherwise um, what I'll do is have a look at the colors that they have pick a few that I think might work and then I will google image search swatches for that specific shade um, and that way you can kind of be like well that person looks like they might be a little bit darker than me or they might be a little bit lighter or it might be perfect so that's how I do it is that I look for charts from the brand that might explain it um, some brands you can just figure out fairly easily or I will google swatches 
So the next thing is the Lily Lolo BB Cream. Another one I've been looking at for a long time and figured since it was summer, it would be a good time to try some of them out and let you guys know what I thought. So nice packaging from them as always. Oh, and a pump thing as well. So I put a bit of that on the back of my wrist. So the color I got in that was light. Um, I think I did have a harder time trying to pick a color out in that one, but much lighter consistency, a little bit more coverage but a really nice feeling product. It feels very, very light. So I'll be really excited to give those another try on my actual face. Um, one thing I did read about this when I was looking for swatches to figure out my color was that when you first apply it, it can look really light, um, similar to a lot of BB creams, but once you work it in, it does kind of adjust to your shade. So just keep that in mind. Don't be afraid if you open yours and it looks light. Um, once you've rubbed it in, it should kind of adjust to your skin tone. The next thing I got was the, I think it's Kani, 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 uh, Botanical Beauty Lip Fix. Green tea and lemon. A bunch of different butters and oils in here, and I just thought it looked like a really sweet little, um, package. So it's a strange kind of green colour. It smells so good. It smells like lemon bonbons. Mmm. So I will give that a go and let you guys know how it is. I'd just like to point out that they used this mitt that I ordered to separate the um, layers of product while packing. So that was really smart. Um, this is just a kind of bath mitt, a Kahina, Kahina, Kahina beauty one. So similar to mitts I've had before, but I kind of liked that it wasn't hideous. And so I'm gonna give this a go, but I figured this would be really good for taking off tan or even just to kind of get products nice and foamy. So I think that will look quite nice hanging in my shower. Okay, this is the next one. I've been wanting to try this for a while and I don't know why I didn't. It's the Pretty Potion Skin Type Body Lotion. These come in different colors because they do have a kind of sheeny pigment to them, I'm pretty sure. So it says naturally sourced, vegan, gluten-free, natural scent of pomelo, pomelo. I love that it comes in this because you know you're gonna get every last bit out. Okay, so I got the plain one which does not have the mineral glow in it because I couldn't decide because there were four different <laughs> options and I was just like, eh, plain. So let's have a little look at this. If I do like it as a lotion though, I probably will try and figure out what shade I would need if I was going to get a coloured one. So it comes out of this spout. Oh, it has a very interesting texture, kind of like a light gel. Like I can barely feel anything on my skin, but it feels just super soft. It looks like it does have a slight sheen to it, but maybe that's just my skin. Um, yeah, definitely liking this so far. I think it's going to be nice in the summer to give your skin a little sheen. I think there's a shimmer in it. Anyway, smells delicious, nice and moisturizing, very light, so that you're not going to have like gooey gooey legs once you've oiled them up. So yeah, apply sparingly, let dry and enjoy. Excited about this, kind of want to buy one of the tinted ones already. This is one of the products I got in my Petit Vore subscription box, which I did do a review on, so I'll link it below. Um, they had samples of these lip CPRs, again, from Santegrity. Generally, with lip products, if I get samples, I kind of, like, put them aside or think, like, I'll put that in the car for if I need something. Um, but with these, I decided to give them a try then and there so I could review them for you. And... I decided to get the shade Sunrise Peach. They're essentially a really nice um, nourishing lip treatment that is tinted and has an SPF 30, which um, a lot of lip SPF products kind of stop at 15. So it comes in this pretty, pretty packaging. This is the stick that it comes in, and then you have this really pretty um, peachy shade. No real scent to it, but maybe I want to put that on now. I'm going to put it on so you can see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. This wasn't one of the colors that I got the sample for, so I was kind of nervous, but I really like it. So it's like a shimmery peach. Again, this is a shade... What did I call this? Sunrise Peach. Feels really nice on the lips, very moisturizing, but not thick or tacky. And I really love the shade range that they have. I think they would have something to suit 
most skin tones. So I'll have any relevant links and all that stuff below. Um, if you have bought anything from Petit Bois recently, do let me know what you've picked up. Um, I'll leave a link to their subscription boxes too because they are a great way of finding new brands. And yeah, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.